What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood Slipgator here and as you can see behind me there's all sorts of new booby things. Uh, I mean greenhouses. So yeah we got all sorts of new greenhouses going on. I thought I'd come back here into the 1-8, grab some seeds just to show you as we finish up. Now I'm trying to think of what we're going to want next. Um, what I've been running low on. I need to get, believe it or not, things like blaze rods I haven't really run into or like I don't need diamonds. I don't really need dye or experience. And, um, emeralds I could use. Surge quartz I got plenty of. Magma creams I could use. Uh, yeah, let's grab these. Let's do cow seeds for leather and creeper seeds for gunpowder. So I added a couple more of these guys off camera, and I thought we'd come over to this new guy right here and set it up. So everything should be good to go. If we head down inside, all we need to do is set this guy up for cow seeds, and then set this guy up over here for creeper seeds. And then if we come over here and we squirt these into the system, bam, bam, and then we come up, we should see that these are planting, and they will start to be growing. Everything's getting put into its correct spots. All of a sudden, things are going good. Let's come over here. You can see now. Um, yeah, just so if you remember from last time or previous time, if we take a look at the chunk borders, it's actually one big chunk in the center here, but then there's another chunk over here and another chunk over there. And since this intersects with the growing area, I've had to put a chunk loader in this chunk and this chunk and this chunk, so three. So not that bad. But like over here, for instance, you can see... The edge of the lily pads and everything meet up, even though they're kind of right on the edge of this chunk, they're still inside of it. So bam, it's cool. We only need the single chunk loader over there. So let's turn this guy off and then head back in. Yeah, so everything's growing really good. We're doing all sorts of good stuff here. So, all right, when these start to harvest though, we are gonna need to go ahead and set up the export bus to squirt things out. So we don't have got that yet. So why don't we, real quick, we'll take this like so. Now, one of the other things that I'm doing here I just want to get some pieces of essence in there so I can set that export out up. But what we're doing here is we're using this this uh, stuff called fertilized earth. So that should be good right there. And then we'll get some over here as well. So you can see right here. Or you can't really see. Is there a way I can show you? I can't get my thing on there. But oh, I don't have any in here either. So it's called fertilized uh, dirt. Yeah, fertilized dirt. It's uh, from random things. Um, and there's three different things that it's supposed to do. Oh, those are cool little, little, little creeper faces. Oh, I got a down right here as well. So, all right, now if we just come inside of here, we grab one of these guys, we grab one of these guys, and then we set them in here, bam, uh, no. And then bam, uh, and then everything's gonna export straight back into the blue, black, blue, and that takes it back over into the 1.8. So, all right, rad. So the fertilized dirt, what it's supposed to do, somebody recommended that I used it. Oh, by the way, look at how many more of these domes we're going to build. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm thinking we may not build nine more. I have an idea. I think I want to try to fit one down in here. I think I'm just going to do some landscaping and fit it in there. we probably do that in this episode. But then I was thinking what we might do is set up, I don't know. I don't think I want to use more islands for this. So what I was thinking about doing is remember... If you remember down inside of here, we got all sorts of room. This is a big area. So what I was thinking about doing is maybe moving some of the stuff out of the way and then setting up one of those big planters with everything else down inside of here. So you wouldn't be visible, but, you know, I mean, we've got a lot of visible up here. We've got a lot of the aesthetic taken care of. Um, I, I was thinking about maybe one over here, too. I could do that, but I'd have to build out this island a little bit. It's not big enough. It needs to be 11 by 11. So same within here. It needs to be 11 by 11. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'd have to build, like, break it down a little bit. But I could do that. We could do one here. We could do one here. So maybe we will. I don't know. We're going to do that in this episode. But, um, yeah, the fertilized earth, what I wanted to tell you about it, what it's supposed to do is it is supposed to, um, it doesn't need water to be fertile, number one. Um, it should increase the growth rate of crops by a factor of three. And if you jump on it, the crops aren't going to be destroyed. Ugh. Which actually we would need to take off all these to see if this actually works. So that is a thing. Um, bam, bam. So, um, yeah, and as far as why I have to take this off, I can't, I don't know why. But if you don't take it off, the crops won't die. So that's a benefit of power armor. But, um, yeah, so uh, somebody in the comments would recommend that we use this stuff. And so I was like, oh, yeah, you'll use it. I mean, the recipe is not that bad. If we take a look. Oh, that's the wrong key. Let's head over. Can we go? Is it you and me, power suit? We're doing it. Um, if we take a look at the recipe, or we can do that right here, the fertilizer, it's pretty easy to make. It's just white dye or bone meal. 
uh, rotten flesh and dirt. So it was pretty pretty cheap to make. And um, now that I have bone um, as a crop, uh, I got 5,981 of these guys. And this stuff, man, to make bones, super easy. Check out how much bone you can get. For three of these, you get 10 bones. So that's crazy. That means that we're going to get 30 uh, bone meal for every three pieces of the skeleton essence. So pretty rad. Uh, pretty good. So anyway, uh, I started using it, and I was thinking... It didn't, I don't, I don't know. I didn't notice a huge difference. Oh, crap. Oh, thank God. <laughs> wow, it gave me an Eye of Ender? That's weird. Why would that give me an Eye of Ender? Hmm, maybe it drops Eyes of Ender? Oh, I broke this. I broke the solution block. That's what it was. All right, so I started thinking about it. I started thinking about, um, well, why don't we maybe test it out? Maybe we should... Go ahead and set up a void world, or a void world, set up a test world, um, and go into it and set up a couple of different uh, planter systems, and then go ahead and see if the fertilized dirt is working better, and if it is working better, by what factor is it working better? Um, and so I did that. So, yeah, so I got some, like I said, I got some more of these to build. Um, I think I'm going to put at least uh, three more in. I, I wasn't, I was like, man, I don't want to really do that landscaping, but I think I might do three more. Um... And other than that, the rest of the stuff and things I think we'll build underground. So the whole island will be devoted to, to these magic crops, the rest of it in here. But um, it just won't all be visible. Oh, and some people were talking about maybe building domes on the side of this. That would be a nightmare, um, by the way, if you think about it. Like, building the dome on the side would be easy. But, I mean, I think you, you, know, you were, weren't talking about, like, a dome like this. You were talking about being domed like that. But then the logistics of fitting in the planters and stuff like that in there, I mean, you could fit it in, but it would be weird, and I don't know, it would be, I think it would look cool, but it would be kind of a disaster um, a little bit. So we're not going to do that. Anyway, um, yeah, so the next thing I'm going to do is take you into the test world. What are you? Oh, cotton. I'm going to take you into the test world and show you the results of the testing to see if the fertilized earth works better. Fertilized dirt works better than regular dirt. So we're here in the test world, and I let set these two up exactly how I have um, these farms set up in my uh, Hermitcraft Futaba. So I got uh, Ender Crop on both, one with the fertilized dirt, one with regular dirt. Got the harvester set up, uh, lily pads of fertility, all the stuff and things. Make sure we had equal lighting. I set them up both at the same time. Um, and yeah, everything was automated, and I had two completely separate AE systems here. Um, and I sat here for about an hour and a half while I was watching G.I. Joe on Netflix because I'm bored and knowing is half the battle. But so what we have here is 273 Ender Essence over here in the fertilized dirt side. And 243, so what did I say? 273, 243 over here on the regular dirt side. Now, this isn't statistically really a difference even though it is a difference there's you know 30 more on this side well now we got 29 um but uh the description uh from the random things wiki says that fertilized dirt should increase growth by a factor of three um so i think that's maybe it was worded a little bit differently but regardless of how it's worded or irregardless of how it's worded um, it is not signif statistically significantly different. It does seem to possibly do more, although at this point in time, it's keeping up. I mean, you could see in the time that it's just harvested a little bit, it's equal still. Um, I could let it run for a lot longer and would have to let it run for a lot longer in order to see if it's really truly um, a difference uh, as far as over the course of hours and hours. Um, but yeah, so really doesn't seem to work as well as it's advertised to work, but uh, from this small test, it may make a small difference. Um, and by small, I think we're talking about, what would that be, 10%? A 10% difference? Yeah, right around there. So yeah, and that's our findings with the uh, the testing from the test world thing diddler of with the fertilized dirt versus regular dirt. All right, back over at the 1.8, and here's the chest I have all the seeds in, and we're going to use the diamond dolly just to grab that real fast, and we're going to shoot it back up over into here, where I have had, have had, has, have had made some changes. Um, let me go ahead and squirt this over here, and then we'll actually just go back up. We're going to talk about this stuff here in a second. But, um, so I got a couple more done, and this is what I think we're going to do as far as the number that we're going to have built 
up here. Um, I could probably squeeze another dome in over here and another one over there maybe with a bit more landscaping. But I feel like this is a good amount, and I think it looks really cool at night. Um, I think it's really nice how it kind of has those little light-up bits. Pretty, pretty neat stuff. So, But what I was figuring we would do is because in our seed thingy-doodler, why is my sound so unbelievably low? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more seed sets. So, and I know uh, I got a couple of compliments for not going with the 9x9 design for the planter. Um, but I redesigned this down here a little bit, and I've torn some stuff and things down. Uh, and I got kind of this underneath room set up a little bit differently and tore a bunch of the wiring out here, too. So, what I figured we would do, um, because I do think it's unrealistic to build eight more domes um, and eight more AE systems and all of that. You know, aesthetically, it's cool. Like, it is aesthetically cool. Um, but efficiency wise, I mean, it doesn't cost any more power to do it this way, but it is taking up more chunk loading. It's not quite the perfect setup as far as server resources, um, but it's a small price to pay for some aesthetic coolness. Uh, so what I think we'll do over here is get this all set up. So we got, I got some lily pads. I got eight. I should have nine. Hmm. Why is there eight? That's the only thing, you know, it's really too bad that there's not a, re a remote way to check the uh, the um, the crafting monitor, because that would really be cool since we have the other remote thingy doodler. Do I have everything? So I just, all right, so there's nothing wrong with it. It just didn't craft this last one for some reason. So we're going to craft one more lily pad of fertility. It's working its thing. It's working stuff and things. It's doing amazing. Uh, we'll grab it once we come up over here. But I think we're going to set this up DMAX style or Hypno style. Those guys are setting up these up this way. We're going to do just this one like this. So let's go ahead and grab... Whoa! A little bit of lags. So let's set up our water. Oh, crap -o. Like so. And then we can set up our lily pads. We can grab that last one. Uh, and then in here what we'll do is set up the planter to do the 9x9 nine nine instead. So we're gonna need a special upgrade for this. Now let me take a look real quick, cause I'm not sure exactly what one I need to do the 9x9. Nine nine. Now let me see, I don't wait, I don't see, oh here they are, here they are. So negative one radius, hmm, uh, radius increased by 11, increased by nine. I don't know if I need the diamond, cause I don't think it needed to be increased by nine, I need it to be increased by Six? Is that correct? I could be wrong, and probably am. Um, but I was thinking just needed it to be the silver upgrade to increase the radius by six. Um, I don't think you would need to do... Hmm, I'm not sure. So, all right, we'll have to do it. I'll figure it out here in a sec. I'll, I'll go take a look somewhere at exactly what it would be. I mean, I could just test it out as well. What we're going to end up doing... Oh, man, I don't have any of my stuff and things set up. Let me grab uh, at export bus and we'll squirt it onto there. So I got the system set up here. I got power running over um, to the planter. But what we're going to do with this planter is we're going to use this filtering system in order to um, filter which seeds we want to have in which areas. And then we're going to need an upgrade for that. Um, I'm going to go check that out. Check that upgrade out. Set this up. I emergency sneeze. I apologize. I was trying to like make a cut before I had to sneeze. Oh my god, I'm allergic to not sneezing um, while I'm recording. So, all right, I'm gonna set that all up. Um, at least set up the planting of this area and get the upgrades uh, figured out as well. Um, and then I'll make sure I have all my exports and stuff like that done. Maybe we'll do that on camera. But yeah, gonna work a little bit more on this. Get a little bit more of the wiring done too. Oh, other side. And, uh, yeah, I will be right back. Perfect. And we're done. All right. So here we go. We got everything hooked up. And it's grown, except the harvester is not hooked up yet. When you head down inside of here, and then you can see that uh, we got the gas seeds, magnum seeds, surge core seeds, emerald seeds, dye seeds, diamond seeds, experience seeds, obsidian seeds. And all you need is the tin upgrade. It's just an increase of radius by three, which makes sense. Um, you, you know, it's hard sometimes to, for it to be intuitive. But... It's saying a radius of three increase makes perfect sense. Um, and so up here you can see we have all the crops. I really think that the dye crops are amazing. Um, you can actually use those as like a plant around the, your bases and that would be pretty cool looking. But, you know, um, apart from these plants being really good for 
uh, for growing things, for resources, they're really all sorts of different cool colors, and I haven't seen anybody use them for aesthetics, and you really could use them for an aesthetic build, um, and this one would be the worst, uh, or the best, but uh, yeah, you could use it for an aesthetic, aesthetic build, I could say aesthetic, and uh, I think it would look really, really cool, so I wanted to save the harvest for uh say let all these grow and then save the harvest for you guys so you can see it now when i place this down it should harvest this magma crop instantly pretty instantly but if we go ahead and add in the tin upgrade look at that go go ah uh, pretty rad all right cool so it's uh harvesting all the crop crops replanting all the crops and now inside of here we should see tons of essence let me go ahead and scoot over here real quick and squirt all this back into the ME system. Squirt. All right, and uh, now what we're going to do here is grab a piece of each one of these. Now, we're not exp exporting our nether course. You remember how we set that up last time. Um, we're just having it here as a reservoir. So we should be able to grab each one of these guys, like so. Nine, nine. And we should have eight, ten total things, I think. Like that. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. What? I have something twice. Bam. All right. So, yeah. Because we got all the uh, eight crops from down here and then the two from up top. Um, and then we have to set that up as in our export buses here for these two. We can only fit eight in a single. So, like so. Bam. One of them. One of these. One of these. One of those. And then in this guy, we'll set up the last two. And we should see that the ME system is basically empty now. Oh, wait. Are you not hooked up to the derp? All right. So, pardon me. One last piece here. Grab some of the ME conduit. And uh, we should be able to just squirt like so. And then, after a second, these should all start to export. And we'll squirt these guys in too. And to save on power, I'm just doing single items. Um, but yeah, there they all go back into the ME system over into the 1.8. Um, and it really is a good amount of resources. Now, I'm not exactly sure. One of the things I wanted to check about, um, this is going to be producing. I, it's amazing how <laughs> this just replaces mob farms almost completely. Um, except for the fun of making mob farms. But, um, yeah, it just kind of blows my noodle um, how easy this is in comparison to mob farms. Not necessarily as fun or as intricate, but still really cool and a fun project for sure. Um, the other thing that I want to take a look at, now DMAC did this in his video and showed it off, so check it out if you want to see uh, exactly how he did it. But Mimikite is craftable. So I'm making gunpowder, I'm making glowstone, I'm making gas tears, and I'm making magma cream. Um, I'm not making lapis, but I have a butt ton of it. So I have 105,000 lapis with 846 extra lapis that hasn't been processed in the system yet. Ooh, what? Uh, squirt, thank you. So actually, why hasn't that lapis been processed? I thought I had the fortune-y thingy-doodler set up to do that. Let me see here. I thought I had lapis right there. Is this thing not working again? Oh, I have it turned off? Let's turn it on. I think it should be on now. It's not working. It's not exporting. Why is you no export things? Hmm. So anyway, I'll have to figure that out. It's all hooked up correctly, isn't it? I gotta take a look at my crazy wiring here. Oh, wait, wait, look at that right there. I think that this ME system right here is missing a piece of conduit. Let me take, grab this and see if we start getting it. We should get a bunch of frame lag, a bunch of lag if I hook this up correctly. Are you squirting items in there yet? Why is you no work? Are you set for something weird? Active with signal. Why is that a thing? I may have done that on purpose by accident. There we go. And you're going to see that we're getting a lot of frame rate lag. Now, this is actually something that Jassassin pointed out to me, and that's why we have this set up to shut that off. What happens when this block breaker updates, basically, when it places the block 
or I can't remember if it's actually the placer or the breaker, but it updates the entire chunk that it's in. And since basically this chunk has a huge amount of stuff and things in it, um, every time I update the chunk uh, by using the system, um, I get mad lag. So you can see here if I'm moving around, I get all sorts of the lags. So what I did, or what uh, J Jesse helped me set up, was uh, this little system right here. Um, and it basically just added a gold ore gate with an additional uh, modifier, additional uh, condition here that says red pipe signal on, then redstone signal, and that disables the placer. Uh, and then this guy basically just says if you have redstone, send a red pipe signal. So this way I can turn the system on and off and uh, I don't have to process things all the time or it won't just be going while my quarries are running and stuff and things like that. It'll be uh, a less of a lag monster that way. Um, and I could fix this by placing it in another dimension or placing it in a chunk that had less items, but I think it's cool that it's right here. Um, and this way we can just run it once in a while. Um, and it doesn't take very long and it fixes it all up. But uh, yeah, so at the end of the day, uh, as far as the farms go, I think we're pretty much done with them. Um, I do feel like there's a farm missing right here. So maybe in the future, if we find something or like lapis, for instance, if that's something that I want to start putting on the farm, which I think is a thing. Lapis seeds? No, maybe it's not. I don't know. I don't have right there. Blue crystal seeds, cyan seeds, sapphire seeds platinum seeds lapis lazuli seeds right there so it is something that we can put on the farm maybe we'll put one more farm right here just because i think it would look cool but other than that i think the stuff and things are done with the farms and i think that it makes a really good addition to the one eight um when you move out and about here it's going to look pretty cool and um yeah it's a good part to our project so i'm satisfied with it very very cool and uh yeah tell me what you think if you like it hit the like button so there's one thing I forgot to do, and that's talk about the walrus game. So the last time, if you didn't see, the walrus was down here and I actually lit him up. Um, and I'm, try I'm trying to play the difficulty. Some of you guys are so funny. Some of you guys are like, so easy, Slip. He's right there, Slip. And some people are like, I couldn't find the walrus. So I feel like I'm finding a happy medium. So, yeah, if you um, if you uh, found the walrus last time, that's very cool. And keep up. You know, you can tweet me that stuff. And I've been retweeting for the peeps that find it. Um, I think it's a really fun game. But, yeah, so if you guys like the video today and, uh, yeah, you, you would like to, please don't forget to hit the like button and support the series. Feel free to share and favorite it as you see fit. Don't spam it on Reddit, peeps. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Ooh, 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 ooh.